By the end of this video, you'll know how to use agents to improve your marketing and overall customer experiences while saving a ton of time doing it. Campaign managers spend a lot of time launching campaigns. I mean, you've got to develop the brief for the campaign, identify the right audience, build the emails, establish the type of journey they're part of, and so much more. In fact, Litmus pointed out that on average, it takes about two weeks to produce and deploy a campaign. Even though email service providers have given marketers the tech power to reach customers more effectively, they've set a high expectation. So now, you might have to deliver more and more marketing campaigns without more resources. But how do you do that without sacrificing quality, relevance, and personalization? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to use agent force campaigns in Marketing Cloud to save time and create personalized one-to-one -one campaigns from end to end. So let's say you're a campaigns manager at Quadstar, a major telecom company. Your events team just reached out because they need your help drumming up demand for an upcoming event, but they're on an extremely tight timeline, they're short of their attendance goal, and their event is around the corner. And you? Well, you're short on time, right? Story of your life. Now normally, you'd have to push back or deprioritize other projects, not to mention, you really don't have the time you need to work with IT to get that audience segment but Agent Force Campaigns is ready to deliver that campaign right to your door or screen right now. See, Agent Force Campaigns is an out of the box AI agent that's here to simplify the whole email marketing process. First, you'll give the agent some context around the campaign you want to develop. Using a prompt, you explain what your campaign goals are. Then the agent will spin up a brief with all the campaign context. See, you didn't have to spend a bunch of time analyzing data from customers, engagements, past performance, or emails. Since Agent Force Campaigns grounds your prompts in data from Data Cloud, it did all that work for you and put together a data-driven campaign brief. Now, once you review and give the thumbs up, the agent will use that brief and your customer data from within Data Cloud to generate an audience and build out the email for your customers. And get this, it'll even personalize the content for you, subject, lines, body copy, and all. Then, to maximize the work you and your agent have done, you can easily include these campaigns as part of a flow. And that means you can use interactions like opens, event signups, or clicks to automate the next best message to send to your customers. Not only that, but you can also tailor the medium to the customer's preferences, whether it's an ad, email, or SMS. In this case, it's a follow-up email with a list of can't-miss sessions at the Quadstar Live event. Now, normally, this entire end-to-end -end process would have taken weeks, a uh, day to develop the email, several days waiting on the audience segment from IT, another day to build the flow, plus or minus a day here, and there for back and forth conversations with the teams. But today, you're not even breaking a sweat. Instead, you're receiving a nice little thank you note from the events team, all without having to deprioritize anything else in flight. Now, let's go behind the scenes for a second so I can show you how your admins set up these marketing agents. First, agents need a role, aka a job to do. Agent Force Campaigns was built with a very specific goal to help users generate, create, or summarize their Salesforce marketing campaign. In Agent Builder, you can see we've built out a topic for the agent to reference with all the instructions on how to do the job and different tasks it needs to complete. Now, we wanna make sure the agent understands what where and how to do that job. So we're going to define the agent's action. To generate the campaign, we're identifying the data and the APIs to connect the agent to, in addition to the channel it's working within, in this case, email. Okay, so the agent knows what it should do, but what about the things it shouldn't do? That's what we have guardrails for. We can even test these guardrails live so we can see exactly how the agent is working and make sure the output is what we want. Last, agents need to know what channels to work across. Earlier, you saw how agents can build campaigns for marketers, but they're not just internal. Agents can be designed to interact directly with customers too. For example, you can use agents to turn your website into a sales machine with the ability to validate and nurture new leads, share pricing details, and even book sales meetings. You can also give every event attendee their very own event planner that can understand their job, find relevant sessions, register for them, and build a personalized agenda. I mean, imagine if you could turn messaging apps like WhatsApp or iMessages into a pocket-sized personal shopper for every customer. Yeah, agents can do that too. 
With data like purchase history, affinities, and real-time context in knowledge articles or engagements, agents can recommend products, handle returns, and re-engage inactive shoppers with the perfect promos. And when those agents hit their limits, remember the guardrails we talked about? They know when to get a rep or salesperson directly involved, all within the same thread. This is why marketers are so excited about agents. Whatever use case you're dreaming up right now, you can develop an agent to turn everyday interactions into agent-powered experiences for your customers and help your teams do less of the stuff that takes up time and more of the stuff that drives results. All right, everybody, that's it for today. To learn more about how agents can help you and your business, click the link on your screen. Also, I'm gonna drop a few resources in the description. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.